The Fosse Jack Agrotourism Park will provide an avenue for local and international tourists to experience a high-quality value chain from the soil to the palate. The initiative aims to create employment and encourage sustainable management of natural resources while providing visitors with an authentic cultural and gastronomic experience. The review of the Agrotourism Park assessed the progress made towards the development of the park, setting clear objectives and actions for its establishment and opening. Parliamentary Representative for Sufre, Honorable Emma Hippolyte, emphasized the importance of community engagement in ensuring the success of the Agrotourism Initiative. I accept the view that Foshejak is replete with natural and cultural assets, worthy of providing with a special management status to ensure that its resources are conserved, sustainably used, and protected. And though I recognize the challenges, I also recognize the opportunities that such an initiative presents for addressing both biodiversity and economic issues, and the avenue it provides for community empowerment through participation in planning and co-management of these resources. In accordance with the mandate of the Department of Forestry's Ecotourism and Environmental Education Program, as well as the sustainable land and forest management efforts, several initiatives will be carried out under the project, including slope stabilization, upgraded trails, and improved water quality in watersheds. Chief Forestry Officer Alwyn Donnelly has been working closely with the Fosse Jacques Development Committee to provide all the necessary support to ensure the project's success whilst also protecting St. Lucia's natural resources. The forest, as we know, we also manage it for critical uh, protection of watersheds. And um, we, it's one of our uh, foremost um, functions and that we have to continue as well. So in addition to creating the opportunities for livelihoods, you know, um, we continue to uh, manage for the water resource as well. According to the Minister for Tourism, Investment, Creative Industries, Culture and Information, Honorable Ernest Hiller, the project builds on the foundation of the recently passed Community Tourism Development Bill, which expands opportunities for local residents to earn additional income and provides a channel for direct marketing to consumers. We know as St. Lucians we are very natural in our warmth and hospitality. We like to treat visitors, we like to treat our friends. When they come to St. Lucia, we want to take them all over, make sure they go and eat some pudding somewhere, they go and eat some, you know, um, cassava, go and do this. That's how we are naturally. But we must extend it now to the entire world. And we must make an economic activity out of it. We must create livelihoods out of it. And sustainable livelihoods are that. The Fosse Jacques Agrotourism Park is scheduled to open later this year and will be managed by the Fosse Jacques Development Committee. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.